Hello everybody, good evening. Welcome to the amazing Performing Arts Center at Wilbur and Teresa Best Middle School that we also use as a gym, part-time gym. <laughs> okay, my name is Roger West. I'm the proud principal on that voice you've heard on a few parent link calls. Um, so excited to be back and having concerts in person. Literally, it was two years ago. Our, our last concerts we had were our, our winter concerts uh, in 2019 before um, lots of uh, bad things happen slash are happening. So I appreciate your respecting of, of wearing the mask so we can do these things. A um, couple things about our venue. Like I said, it, it seems like it's a beautiful performing arts center. In reality, it is a gym. I'm not going to lie to you. So if you could just be respectful of especially the performers, um, pretty much everything you do is going to make a sound, right? So if you need to get up and uh, you know use our facility, uh, restrooms, men's right there at the back, women are on the other side if you need to use those. Um, just if you could wait until between songs, would appreciate that. Uh, and obviously, we realize your child might not be in every group, but if you could please um, so let the people around you, I don't know where I need to stand, so this brand new sound system works. Do you hear the annoyance in my voice? Why is the brand, brand new sound system not working perfectly? Okay, um, obviously events like this, concerts, performances like this, um, do not happen in isolation. We have um, an amazing performing arts department. Um, I don't know how to yes, right? A well-rounded education is, I have to be all of them today, I don't know if I'm going to stand with one spot, You're cutting out. this spot, right, there we go, thank you, Coach. You're so, a well-rounded education is, is really what it's all about, right? I know we all can probably think about back to our school days and remember some amazing teachers we had in math and science and social studies, like, like me. But I think it's some activities like this for a lot of students are the reason that they come to school or excited about school, learning about different aspects of school. So we're excited to have such a diversified um, and, and many different um, elective opportunities for students, um, orchestra being, being one of them for sure. Um, so Coach, uh, we call her Coach, Blair Nesbitt Jackson is our orchestra director. This is, I believe, her fourth year. Yes. Excited to have her. her. She is assisted by Ms. Kayla Miller, um, who is back there. And also And then um, we are glad to have other members of our performing arts department here, Ms. Elizabeth Scott, the band director. And Emmanuel Mojica, our choir director right there. And I, I realized one of the advantages to, to having a block schedule is um, well, um, all of our sixth and seventh graders get to choose more than one election. So I know for some students, this is one of many nights they have. Last night we have band, tonight we have orchestra, tomorrow night choir, and the following night we have dance and theater performances this week. So jam packed. Really want to give a shout out. Thank you. I see faces in the crowd, a lot of best staff that are here to support our students and appreciate that. Um, your time here tonight as well. I want to give a plug for our yearbook, our amazing yearbook advisor, Mr. Wright, is over here, and his students. If you have not bought your yearbook, it will be the best investment you may say. It's the second greatest book ever produced. Um, I want to also, of course, thank my, my admin team that are here tonight. Um, over to, I guess, my closer right there is Amanda Strockstad. Hot off the press, it is fresh, and uh, I think on day five at Best Middle School, but certainly no stranger to the Clark County School District, we are so excited to have Melissa G. Antonio join on staff as well. G. Antonio. Okay, so with that, I'm going to turn it over to Coach, and she'll tell you a little bit about what's going to happen tonight. Thank you for being here. sure what's going to happen tonight. <laughs> I'm going to say it. I'm not sure, but we will find out. Um, 
normally I do, at this time of year, I do a demonstration concert for the beginner to the audience. This is uh, what they're learning is very, very involved. And as most of you know, the violin, the cello, the bass, and the viola also have like a stick thing that they play with on the ground. You guys familiar with that? And it goes back and forth. We don't get to the bow right away because there's so much to learn with the position of the instrument and the left hand where it has to go and the names of the notes and the strings and the parts of the instrument. I can go on and on. There's a lot to learn in the very beginning. But we're going to take you through a little journey of what they learned and how they learned it first. I'm going to start by saying, before all the kids had their instruments and everything, we started to learn the value of notes. Did any of you, you can clap your hands if you did, hear moves and buzz and cracks at home with practicing? There you go. Yeah, was there another sound? Oink, 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 yes. So we gave different values to those notes. So the mouth is the musical instrument that they already own. So it was familiar. And it was easy to learn the note values with the mouse. That's the mouse. I know that. Then when we started on the instrument, it was much easier. So we're going to start from the very beginning with showing you their instrument position. Thank you. Thank 
the same way. I think so. Yay! All right, next they learn the first scale, where to put notes down, everything else, which enabled them from there on to play a lot of different, different songs. They will learn more scales as time goes on. They have started learning the go, which is a tricky little devil. But you guys like the go, right? I guess I didn't need to ask. They do enjoy it. Without further ado, see if you can name some of these tunes we play. But first, we're going to start with our first scale. Yay!
I'm going to ask the intermediate orchestra to go around this way. Tell us invasive. Will you start going back here? Remember to sit on the outside chairs, okay? You can go ahead and go. Okay, I'll just set your instrument down and go on over. Bill is good. Seconds, follow the behind. Watch where you're going, dude. Head first, follow behind them. Good job, guys. Okay, orchestra. There's no rhyme or reason, just come and take your seat there's Mississippi. As a little background, I should have said this before, the beginners is the first class that has started in school since we had the lockdown. That class over there, those six players, were the last class that went out right after the Christmas concert in the lockdown. These guys here had only one semester last year. Some of them had first semester, some of them had second semester. I think they've done remarkably well this year. Absolutely remarkably. Let's give a hand to our intermediate and advanced orchestra. The first song we're gonna play is called Fanfare and Processional. It was actually written, uh, I'm not gonna go specifics, a while ago by my orchestra teacher, my middle school orchestra teacher. And it's used all over the country. It's very fun to play, a little bit tricky sometimes. And then we're gonna go to a slower piece and end with a holiday favorite, yay! Thank you. 
enjoyable, yeah? Okay. The final part of our concert, as I said before, this group, it is a sextet, there's six people. 
were here as beginners. They went through December at the concert, and then they went out. I guess it was in February. Yeah. And that was it. And then they didn't start doing the feedback until online, which was very difficult to cut past. For strangers, especially. They could not see my hands. All of a sudden, they'd be watching their cameras, and my bow would disappear out of the camera. It was almost impossible. I definitely didn't connect them because they couldn't play them. So that is the big thing that these guys, in the very beginning of the year, had a very hard time playing together, listening to each other, matching pitches, and playing harmonies. They've done an incredible job. So incredible. They're playing together without a conductor, as chamber music should be. It's very rare that it's done with middle school. But I know you're going to enjoy this. There are three pieces. Once again, the last one's a holiday one. Yeah. And the first two are very different. After they are done, we have the best carolers with us. along with all of you. If you don't know the tune, take it. And do you have the words? Do you guys all have the words? Okay, there, there should have been lyric sheets. Okay, that's later though. This is the first. Enjoy. Thank you. 
As you can see, we're only going to sing one verse of each tune. And like I said, you don't know the tune, take it. That's what we do. <laughs> Be honest.
I'd like to thank our administration for being here and all of our <laughs> Do appreciate it. During this holiday season, please be safe. Be thankful for what you have. You can be sad for what you don't have, but that's okay too. But be thankful for what you have. I am thankful for your kids. I appreciate them so much. They make me so happy every day. God bless your heart. Thank you so much. And, and obviously, thank you to all of you. I know from being in music, my parents listening to me learn how to play an instrument and we know it's not easy. We appreciate your support. I'm oh, sure yeah. you hear the progression here, how fast it happens from beginners all the way up to what these amazing guys are doing. COVID hit hard music ed programs around. This group would usually have 35, 40 kids in it, right? And we just, we lost kids. So very excited for our beginners to, to rebuild that program. Yes. Thank you obviously to these guys for sticking with it. Uh, we appreciate the support. Um, how do they reunite with their with their kid? They need to put their instrument away. Perfect. So they're going to put their instruments away, and then if you can meet them right outside this area here. Thank you guys again. Have a, an amazing evening and a wonderful holiday. <laughs> 